And so it starts with the simplest and yet the most meaningful of ceremonies, the story of Tom Halliday, Special Agent, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Briefcase, revolver, and coveted badge. These are symbols of a new trust, a new responsibility. And Tom Halliday must learn to carry them with the respect and honor that is an FBI tradition. A bus ride is the beginning, a trip south from Washington to the U.S. Marine Corps base at Quantico, Virginia. This college-like building is the FBI Academy, the place where Tom and his classmates will both live and learn during most of the 13 weeks of training that lie ahead. It will be for Tom like going back to school, sharing a room with three other agents in training. Keeping personal possessions, no matter how valuable, in lockers that need never be locked, and finding out day by day the meaning of teamwork and its importance in the FBI. This is a time of sacrifice for Tom Halliday, sacrifice that will continue through his years of service. He knows it, accepts it, and so too does his family. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, accompanied by Director Robert Mueller. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to all of you, and especially to our guest, President Barack Obama. Mr. President, on behalf of every one of the employees you see here before you and around the world, it is my privilege to welcome you to the FBI. But, but before we begin, we would like to present you with several special mementos to mark your first official visit to the FBI. And as you should know, we are not above using this occasion for recruiting purposes. We are always looking for talented special agents, but you are a wee bit past our age limit. And in any event, you do have another job. However, it is not too early for Sasha and Malia you start thinking about joining the FBI. And so we would like to send you home with two official Bureau teddy bears for them, as well as t-shirts. As well as for you, as well as for you in FBI cap. We hope that that fits. I think that fits. Just down here. Mr. President, on inauguration day we were all honored that you stepped out of the motorcade right here 
in front of FBI headquarters to walk past our house on the way to your house. And we are just as honored to have you here with us today. This may not be the most beautiful building in Washington, <laughs> but it is one of the most important. It is the hub of the organization charged with protecting America from crime and terrorism, while also protecting the civil liberties we all cherish. Though this may be the FBI's headquarters, there are thousands of FBI employees spread throughout the country and the world. Wherever they are stationed, they represent the FBI's tradition of fidelity, bravery, and integrity. It is a tradition that goes back more than 100 years to President Theodore Roosevelt. Today, though, the FBI threats are much more diverse and global. They range from terrorism to espionage, from public corruption to violent crime. And yet today's FBI is uniquely equipped to address these challenges. As threats continue to evolve, so too will the FBI. But what has never changed and will never change are our values. For over 100 years, we have pledged to serve and to protect our nation and to do so while upholding the rights and the liberties guaranteed to every citizen under the Constitution. To the men and women of the Bureau, fidelity, bravery, and integrity are more than just a motto. They are a way of life. Mr. President, the men and women standing here today and their colleagues throughout the world share a dedication to defending freedom that is unparalleled. It is, it is and has been the history of the FBI, and it is and will be the future of the FBI. We in the FBI appreciate the enormity of the task before you. We offer you our full support, and we will continue to do everything in our power to safeguard this nation. Thank you again for coming here today. It is an honor to introduce to you the men and women of the FBI, just as it is now my honor to introduce you to them. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, it is a good excuse for you to be outside on a nice day. And it is a great honor uh, to be here with men and women of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Uh, I'm grateful to the FBI for the t-shirts, for the teddy bear for the girls, even though we've kept our promise on the dog, I wouldn't want to come home empty-handed. <laughs> I want to thank your outstanding director, Robert Mueller, not just for the introduction, but because Bob has led the Bureau during incredibly challenging times. He became only the sixth director of the FBI just one week before the 9-11 attacks. And since then, he has worked as hard as anybody to prevent additional attacks and to carry out the FBI's enormous responsibilities. So I appreciate him, and I appreciate all of you. Thank you. So last summer, the FBI celebrated its 100th anniversary. I think it's safe to say that it has been an eventful century for the Bureau. Back in 1908, oh, somebody, somebody faint. Do we have a EMT here? Right down here. That, 
just give him a little bit of space. This happened during my political campaign all the time. I was talking too long, people would be falling out everywhere.